Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can locally and privately install this brand new 5.3 mini model on Windows. I will be using LM Studio for this purpose. And let me go to LM Studio and launch it on Windows. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done a few other videos. So please check my channel. After launching LM Studio, just go to home page and type 5-3. Right now, there is no quantized version available, so you won't be able to do it from here. But there is a way. Let's go to Hugging Face to this model card, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Go to Files, and then in the Files, scroll down, and you will see two tensor files. One is Floating Point 16, the other one is Q4. Click on Q4 one, and then you will see all of this checksum and stuff. Just click on this download and it is going to download that GGUF file on your local Windows system. Once you have that file, go to your local Windows system and then just go to LM Studio. Click on this folder icon and then you see that it shows that it is present in this the user administrator cache LM Studio models. So if you want to see it, click on um so in file explorer this is where lm studio is installed so once you click on uh, here let's suppose there is nothing else simply create a microsoft directory in models directory of lm studio in microsoft create another folder or directory 53 and in this 53 just put that gguf file which you have just downloaded once you will paste or move this gguf file here you will see that it will appear here in this folder icon and then all you need to do is to simply click on these three dots and then from the middle just load it and it is going to load it on your local system which i have already loaded as you can see another thing you can do uh, which will speed it up is to just go to right and offload all the layers to gpu which i already have done and then you might have to reload this model again and now you can chat with this model like hello there there you go so who is your creator microsoft what is your model id so it is not it's not disclosing what is your name okay how do you identify yourself Okay, it's a function in AI. So before I show you a lot of other benchmarking information, let me give you a quick overview of this model. So this model, which is called as 53 Mini 4K Instruct GGUF, it is a 3.8 billion parameter lightweight state-of-the-art open model trained with 53 data set that includes both synthetic data and the filtered publicly available website data with a focus on high quality and reasoning tense properties. This model belongs to the 53 family with the mini version in two variants 4K and 128K, which is a context length in token, by the way, and this is what it can support. The model has underwent a post training process that incorporates both supervised fine tuning and direct preference optimization to ensure precise instruction adherence and robust safety measures. When assessed against benchmarks, testing common sense, language understanding, math code, long context, and logical reasoning, 53 Mini 4K Instruct showcased a robust and state-of-the-art performance among models with less than 13 billion parameters. Whether it's a 7 billion, 8 billion, 13 billion, and that includes Lama 3, 8 billion, by the way, this 53 Mini 4K has even beaten it with just 3.8 billion of size. How cool is that? Yesterday, I did um, a technical report on 53, where I go in way more detail in its architecture and stuff. So if you go to my channel, um, then you will see that I have, if, if it is just there. So this 5.3 video, where I have gone into a lot of detail around its architecture, technical report and all that stuff. But for the purpose of this video, let's now try to talk with this model and try to test it out on various reasoning tasks. So first, let me ask abstract concept explanation. I'm asking it 
explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotions use analogies and metaphors to convey your explanation and keep it compact and short let's wait for it to finish that's done let's read what it has written so you see it is saying happiness is akin to a warm glow felt by humans when they achieve something meaningful or experience moments of joy like the sunlight after rainfall nurturing growth in nature's garden how good is that picture happiness as an invisible thread weaving through experiences and memories that brighten life's tapestry so you see such a small model but look at the pros think of happiness as a vibrant colors on a canvas representing various emotions so you can see it is simply amazing let's check out on a logical puzzle in this one i'm asking it three gods a b and c are called in some order true false and random true always speaks truly false always speaks falsely but whether random speaks truly or falsely in a random manner you have to check you must determine the identities of a b and c by asking three yes no questions each question must be posed to exactly one god the gods understand english but will answer all question in their own language in which the words for yes and no are da and ja you don't know which one word mean which let's see let's wait for it to finish and now look at this answer i'm not going to go into the detail but look at the reasoning it is asking a first then asking b or c and then a if it is telling us that if a indicated ja as their native response now answer da then ask c so what is happening here is it is following a very methodical approach in a very very logical way and then it is also giving us the example dialogue how good is that and then it's also clearing it up amazing stuff amazing i think one of the best answers i have received so far from any model let's ask it a philosophical dilemma that which one came first egg or chicken explain it to a 6 year old let's wait and now look at this response it is saying imagine if someone had idea of make a tiny little baby chick but didn't have the baby ready yet so made a smart special soft yolk and laid it in the nest for its future home and then let's think about how we make something from scratch how good is that so it is trying to explain a very very abstract difficult uh, philosophical dilemma to a kid and by using simple analogies related to everyday life we can explain the sequence of events from conceptualization which is egg to realization which is chicken how good is that okay let's ask it a toxic question i'm asking it how can i be the most unwanted person in any gathering for sure let's see what this does okay, it says that it is quite yeah, i'll just stop it because it is going on and on it is saying that i'm sorry but i cannot assist with that <clears throat> and it says that it's important to remember that every individual should strive to be kind and considerate others in all social situations very very nice Okay, so but it is asking me to be more, you know, decent. So that is good. And now let me ask it a coding question. So this one I'm just asking is to write a concise summary for this C plus plus snippet. It's a binary research. There you go. So it has very very correctly identified that it is a binary research. Let's try to see if it can do code repair. So I'm going to ask it that. find and correct the error in this javascript code yep that is correct it has uh, correctly identified it amazing stuff amazing so that's it guys you can see that how easy it is to install it on windows and then play around with it perfect model i'll be doing more videos on 53 in the coming <clears throat> time so please stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already sub subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching